Hey everyone, Brent Coley here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Google Forms to express appreciation for those around you. I'm gonna show you how you can take a simple Google form like this. This is something that we use at our school called the UROC form, where people can submit information. Who do you want to recognize? You put the name right here. You put your name right here. You submit the date. And then you can type in, why do you want to recognize? What is this person doing that you appreciate? How do you want to recognize this person? And you enter an email address. And I'm going to show you how this Google form can instantly create a certificate that looks like this. So you can say it takes all of the information from the form, mail merges it into a certificate that can look like this, and then automatically email it to anyone that you want. And I wanna let you know that everything I'm gonna show you here at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you where you can download the template that I'm gonna show you for free and you can create, you can basically replicate exactly what I'm going to show you for your own staff. So again, first thing, here's your Google form. And if you've used Google forms before, you know that when you have a Google form and you submit the information from the form, so here's the actual form itself. Again, I've just created different questions. Who rocks? Who do you want to recognize? It's a text response. I'm going to put my name, today's date, and then the reason why the person rocks and then an email address that I want the certificate emailed to. And you know that when you submit the form, the information submitted is going to drop into a spreadsheet that looks like this, where the title of each of the columns, who rocks, your name, today's date, corresponds, who rocks, your name, today's date. Each column heading corresponds with one of the questions in the Google form, okay? So the first thing you do is you just create your Google form. Again, I'm gonna give you the link to how you can download this template and then just recreate it for yourself. Just use it again so you don't have to start from scratch. But how do you make the certificate, you may be wondering. Well, it's very easy actually, but the first thing you wanna do is you wanna create your actual certificate. So here is the template of the certificate that I showed you. Again, I'm gonna give you this certificate. I'm gonna show you a link where you can actually download this certificate. But what you do is first, first you create the actual form and the spreadsheet that goes along with it. And then you wanna create the template for the certificate. And you'll see in my template, I've just inserted different pictures that you can see. This is the heading for my, the logo for my school. I created this in, using Google Images, excuse me, Google Drawings. And But what you'll see here is these little side arrows. They're called chevrons. And what you'll see inside of these, you'll see who rocks today's date. Each of those corresponds, you can see here, to the heading of a column in my spreadsheet. Who rocks your name today's date? So once again, I can see who rocks today's date. And I even put it here, who rocks your name, the reason the person rocks. Basically what you wanna do, whatever information is collected in the form, and you want to insert it, you want to merge it into your template, all you do is take this right here, and literally what you could do is you could do this and highlight it and control C or command C that your name, and then you could basically paste it into here. These are called merge tags. So basically whatever information you want merged from your spreadsheet, you will paste it or type it into your template and you wanna put it inside of these chevrons. So a double chevron, like the opening it, you put your merge tag in and you close it. So that's the first step. You're gonna create your form, create, excuse me, this is the actual form, create the spreadsheet that goes along with it, and then create the template, okay? Once you've done that, now what we're gonna do is we're going to use an add-on, a free add-on called Autocrat. 
It's really, really easy to use. It takes about five minutes to set it up. And once you've done that, the rest is easy. All the magic will happen behind the scenes. So to use AutoCrat, you want to go to your sheet, the sheet that corresponds with the Google form, go to the sheet and click add-ons here. And when you click add-ons, it's gonna show all of the add-ons that you've already installed. Now you can see I already have it installed here, but if you didn't have it installed, you would go to get add-ons. It'll bring up the add-on store and you would just type up here, AutoCrat, whoops, excuse me, not there, AutoCrat, and you can see this is the one right here. It's the yellow kind of logo with the little blue, um, blue arrows there. You can see I already have it installed. If you didn't have it installed, you would click this and go ahead and install it. You only have to do this one time. You can see I've already installed it, so it's already in my add-ons menu, and this will work on every Google Sheet that you use. So once it's installed, go ahead and select it and launch your AutoCrat. And it takes a couple of moments and the AutoCrat menu will load. Now I don't have any merge jobs set yet, so I'm gonna say new job. And again, this form that we created was called UROC, so I'm gonna call it sample UROC merge doesn't matter what you call this really. And I'm gonna to go to the next step. Next step it says, choose your template. Now remember, I have already created my template and it's very important. Your template must, create, must contain those merge tags. Again, inside the little chevrons and those tags correspond to the, right, right here, the who rocks, it corresponds to the headings in your spreadsheet all right so again i already have my template so i'm now going to choose it you could create it right here but i recommend you have it done beforehand so i'm going to choose from drive and you can actually just search i called it my copy of you rock template there it is. There's the copy of my UROC template, so I'm going to select that. And it, notice it was fetching the tags. It was looking for these little chevrons. It was looking for the merge tags within the document. So if I go back here, you can say, oh, there it is, copy of the UROC award template. I'm going to hit next. And notice what it's done now is it has looked into the template and it has tried to match the column headings to the merge tags in the template. For example, you can see who rocks, it mapped it to who rocks. Now you can see this one, it didn't get, it didn't get. Now you can see all the other ones, it mapped it correctly, it matched it correctly. But if it ever is wrong, so I can say you who rocks, who rocks, your name, your name, reason this person rocks, reason, oh, it got all those right, but it missed this one, so all I have to do is select the drop down. So I'm looking at today's date. So I'm going to find today's date. And I'm going to put that there. And then I hit next. And now comes the file settings. So what do I want to call the certificate? It's going to generate something that looks like this. What do I want to call it? Now I have to be careful. I don't just want to call it, whoops, let me go back there. I don't just want to call it you rock award because if i do that every single time somebody submits the form and every single time a new award is generated it's going to be called the same thing so i want to make it dynamic so i'm going to say you rock award dash now watch what you can do you can actually make this dynamic if i click this little blue bar it brings some merge tags here. So I want to call it UROC and who rocks. And if I click this, it copies it to the clipboard, and then I can control V or command V and paste that into my file name. So now the certificate that's generated is going to be called UROC award dash the person's name. I could even get a little more specific and say uh, the date that it happened, like the today. Now today means the date, like October 12th, 
now is the time timestamp is both of them put together. I don't need the timestamp. I'm just going to put the today. So I'm going to click on that and paste it in there. So now you can see I'm going to have a dynamic title for the certificate. Now you can make the certificate as a Google Doc or a PDF. I'm going to select a PDF because in it, it'll never change. And it's easily it's easy to print no matter what kind of device it's opened on. And I can keep it on classic mode, the multiple output mode. And then I'm going to click next. Now, where do I want to put it? Where do I want? Because when the certificate is generated, it's going to put a copy in my Google Drive. So you can choose your folder. I have gone ahead and created a sample UROC folder. So I'm going to put it sample UROC certificates. It had this one too. I'm going to get rid of that because I don't want it to be in that one too. But you can put it in multiple folders. I'm going to put it in the sample UROC certificates and I'm going to hit next. Now, step six and seven, I'm going to be very honest, I'm not really sure what to do. I have never used these. They're optional, so I just click next and next. If you want to experiment with that, be my guest, but you don't even need to do those to make this work. Now, this is the step. If you wanted to email the certificate, you're going to hit yes. If you don't want it to email, you could stay on no, and it would just put a certificate in your Google Drive. But the magic of Autocrat is the ability to generate it automatically and then automatically email it. So I'm going to share the doc as a PDF. Somebody could share it. It's not coming from a generic address. And now you can say, who do I want it to be emailed to? Well, I want it to be emailed to, if I click here, that email address that the person who submitted the form entered. So I'm going to click email. I'm going to control or command V in there. And now it's going to go to whoever the person wants to email it to, it's going to email it to them. If you want it to go to somebody else, you could separate by a comma and put it in there. Or if you wanted to also send a copy to yourself, I actually CC my static email address here just so I can kind of see who is being recognized by our staff members. But you don't have to do that. So it's going to go to whatever email address was entered. And I could say type in the subject. And once again, I'm going to do something similar to what I did before, I'm going to make this a dynamic email. It's a who rock award for the person who rocks on, and I'm going to get that today date, and I'm going to paste that in here. And then in your message for your email, you could just say, congrats, you got a you rock award. And you can customize that however you want. And I'm going to click next. Now, run on form trigger you want to say yes and then you can say yes basically i want the autocrat to run every time the form is submitted i want a certificate to be generated each time you don't have to do a time trigger if it's going each time the form is run and then i'm just going to hit save and that's it so it took us about five or six minutes to set this up the very first time but now let's watch the magic happen I'm going to go back to the form and I'm going to say, okay, so let's say who rocks Jane Doe rocks and my name Brent Coley. And I'm going to put today's date. I can just today's date here. Um, reason this person rocks for always giving her best. Now, again, I would be much more specific as I was doing that. And I'm going to go ahead and send this to my email address and I'm gonna hit submit. Now watch what happens when I hit submit. I'm gonna go over here. Here's my spreadsheet. Notice that it put the information in there. Ooh, but watch what's happening. Autocrat is starting to do its magic. It's saying, oop, it started, whoops. It started merging right here. And after just a couple moments, you can see, boom, it's done and watch here. Here is a link. If I click on this link, Voila, magic, there is my award that was generated. And, ooh, look up here in my Gmail address. If I click this and I open my Gmail address, look what I see. I see there is the, the UROC award that was automatically emailed to my address. And very quickly, where can you find these templates? At bit.ly bit.ly 
dr slash drive for edu. These templates right here can be downloaded.